The crisis of religion, ethnicity, political violence, kidnapping, insurgency are a source of worry for any nation. For lasting solutions, government officials, religious leaders and other stakeholders gather in Kwara State for a two-day international conference to openly discuss the issues. At the event, the governor of Kwara State, Abdul Fattah Ahmed, says nothing meaningful can be achieved where security and peace is lacking. As a government sworn to promote the welfare and security of its citizens and residents, we stand determined to jealously bear and rigorously sustain the peace existing in our state and the harmony among adherents of our various religions and cultures. A speaker from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia calls for synergy between the two countries to fight insurgency. While the former secretary of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Kwara State Chapter, is seeking for more tolerance among religious leaders and the people. I beg that that level of accommodating people's opinion, people's view, should be raised because we are in a time that we should stop deceiving ourselves, we should say it as it is and look for solutions together. The Sultan of Sokoto, who is also the President General of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, reiterates that Islam does not allow for the killing of innocent people and calls for peace to reign in the nation. I've said it times without number. They could profess to be Muslims, yes. What they are doing is anti-Islam, it's against the Holy Quran, it's against the decrees, the dictates of Almighty Allah, and they are going to hell for committing murder unjustly. Various papers will be presented here within the next two days, stating different views and hopefully the communique reached will impact on the search for peace and unity across the country. So that we'll be able to carry our people along.